Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Melissa here. Today I'm going to be doing a different video and reviewing Alive, the fitness app by Whitney Simmons. Okay, just to start, if you're not familiar with who Whitney Simmons is, she's kind of an icon in the fitness YouTube world. I've been watching her since college, so probably over four years now. And I love her content on YouTube. So when she decided to come out with her own fitness app, I was really excited to see what kind of program she's going to release. And I was also excited because it wasn't just like a downloadable PDF that a lot of other influencers do. It was actually like a physical app. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing my first week using the app. Your first week is free. You get a seven day free trial. And then after that, it costs $14.99 a month. But if you buy the year, it's a little bit cheaper. I'll get into that a little bit more at the end, but hope you enjoy. To start, I'll just go into a little bit about the app format. So she has just individual workouts you can do, like based off of if you want to do upper body, lower body, cardio, abs, those kinds of things. If you're just in the mood to just do like one specific thing, she does have that. But what I like about it is all of the programs she has. So she has in the gym programs as well as fitness at home programs. And right now I'm in Florida, so I'm doing an at home program and I'm doing a live inside 1.0. So the first week was a combination of HIIT workouts and strength and HIIT workouts. And they range from like 30 minutes to like 50 minutes. So it was super easy to fit into my schedule. Um, and overall, I felt like they were a good start starter workouts. I wouldn't say they're good for advanced level people, but if you're just starting out or just want to mix up what you're doing, and then I think this workout is great. So it's so easy to use the app. Like you just click on the day and she literally has videos of every single exercise, um, descriptions, the timer goes off. You can listen to your own music. Overall recommend, I had no issues using the app. Um, the only downside is it is an at home program, but I would say that you do need some sort of weights. So I have like little like five pound weights and they do okay, but I would recommend getting like five to 10 pound weights so that you can use those throughout the workout to really feel it the next day. Um, I've also, one day I didn't have anything, so I just like used a giant bag of uh, oatmeal, which <laughs> I'll have a video of if you wanna see it, but um, I would recommend getting actual weights. <laughs> to get this workout to be the most effective it needs to be. But with that being said, all you need is a mat and weights and then the app and you're good to go. I felt a burn using even just my five pound weights the next day after a strength day. So the exercises, I have some clips of like me doing, going through the workouts and stuff. There's a lot of um, body weight exercises, pretty straightforward. I mean, being at home, there were some hiccups. It's her cup of me literally kicking a glass table. But I actually really enjoyed the program. I loved how it told me everything that I needed to do. And I guess you could argue that like a YouTube video would do the same thing, but something that this offers that a YouTube video doesn't is kind of like keeping you on a consistent track. Like there are days where I wake up and I'm like, I could do a YouTube video, but I don't want to do a YouTube video. I don't want to do one of those workouts. I don't want to self motivate myself, if you know what I mean. But when you're actually on a program and your next day is already planned out for you, I find it so much easier to stay motivated and keep going with it. So I think that's the biggest plus of it. Um, also, if you have a super busy schedule, I know the app just released this new feature where you can like switch around the days like the seven day week is already planned out for you it might be like strength then hit then car like um a rest day but if you have like a super busy work day or need a rest day on a different day you can move it around now so she does recommend keeping it 
in the format that she has it in already, which I understand she built the program like this, but if you really need to switch around your days, you can absolutely do that, um, which I think was a great add um, to the app, which brings me to my other point. They're constantly updating this app. So Whitney has been coming out with more and more programs since it released. There's two inside programs, I think, and quite a few programs for the gym. I'm really excited once I do get to go back to the gym to try those out because I know I've lost a lot of strength and a lot of people are in the same boat with COVID. It was much harder to work out, but being able to go back in with a program, I'm really excited to try that out. So let's get into costing. So I chose the month to month program. So it's like $14.99 a month. And then you could also go for a year and it's slightly cheaper, which is enticing, but I just know personally, I prefer to pay month to month because I don't know how long I'm gonna be using it or when I'm gonna have access to a gym. So I'm doing month to month, but I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. And if you're a little bit concerned about the price, I like to think of it more as like an investment in my health and well being. And pre COVID, I would spend that much a month on the gym way more, where it's like half the price of going to a soul cycle class. Like it's not actually that expensive when you think about it, as long as you actually use it every day. And the only other investments you have to make are in the mat and the hand weights. Um, if you decide to go that route, I mean, you could use household products, but I would recommend getting those hand weights. And I think it is easier to get them. I remember in the beginning of 2020, it was like literally impossible to get weights, but I just went to the local thrift store, like here in Florida, cause I'm only here for a couple months and they had hand weights there. So I just got them for like $2 and I do my workouts and it's really simple. Okay, so another feature of this app is your the journaling part. So there's a whole nother page where you can go in and add like gratitudes or how you're feeling that day. So I think that's like a really incredible feature that she added. I don't know any other uh, apps that include that. And it really just focuses more on mental health rather than just physical changes in your body, which is a huge part of Whitney Simmons platform. And kind of stemming from that, this app has a huge community of people doing it. Everyone's really nice. I follow the Alive app on Instagram and everyone's just so nice and everyone is going through this together and supportive of one another. So if you're really looking for that kind of community, I think Alive is a great app to use. They also have really cute merch. So I think that's a huge win. Then in the journal app, there's also a section where you can put photos and you can track your weight. I don't so much track my weight. I don't like to look at it that way, but I do like to look at the changes in my physique. So I did take some photos, but you're not gonna see a change in one week, but I like that you can like put them in, you can compare them to each other, or you could just like put them in there and look back like a year later and see what changes happened to your body, what strength you've gained. Okay, so to conclude, I'm gonna talk about my final thoughts on the app. So overall, I thought the workouts were both challenging, but easy to learn and do as a beginner. So I think it would be great for all levels, especially beginners to use this app. The exercises are easy to understand and it's not so difficult where you can't make it through the workout. I love that. And I also love the formatting of the programs where you can switch around the days. You can pick which program is right for you based off of your experience or whether or not you have access to a gym. So both of those are huge wins. And then in terms of price, I think it's worth it for what you get with this app. Um, you just have to buy weights if you want to, and then use a mat or just use your regular gym membership. And then the other features of the app that I think were really incredible were the journaling and just like the ease of use of this app. Listen to your music. It has the timers built in. Um, everything is just written out for you and it's so well done. Um, so I highly recommend getting this app or at least trying it for the seven days to decide if you like it. So if you guys do end up trying out Whitney Simmons, a live app, let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts were. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.